welcome back to my channel so far again of all time thank you so much for tambom and to subscribe comment and share my videos god bless you all you're really mvp karibuni tena kwenye show yetu ya kijanja na mimi host wenu wa kila siku lilian lema kama it's a new time or it's your first time clicking in my name is lilian lilian lema based in dar es salaam tanzania and thank you so much for clicking karibu sana don't go nowhere and uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and share if you have anything you want to make i mean any kind of video or any kind of suggestion for this channel just comment down below on my comment section so today it's another segment i'm about to end up with you funds like to king in a me kwa ni swali ambalo ni me kwa na kiu lizwa na wana wake o vijana wa kike katika Instagram page yangu nikasema okay no problem like make a video of it kuelezea and uh, I try to do a little research a bit of a research kusiko kitu na nimepata some points nime nimesoma kiundani zaidi kabla ya kuja kuongelea kwa sababu mimi I'm not a doctor I'm not a doctor baby I'm not a doctor so so let's put kuelezea kwa upeo wangu peke yangu nataka nielezee kwa upeo ambao nimefanya research kwa kusoma vitu ambavyo nimesoma Google and other places about that thing. Um so don't go nowhere, sit there and see what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> Dark. Today topic yetu ni kuhusu birth control. Na namna gani ya kucontrol mtu kupata mimba? Naweza nikasema kitu kama hicho. Kwa Kiswahili I mean kwa Kiswahili fasaha. Kwa hiyo kuna wasichana ambao wamekuwa wanitumia DM like natumia vitu gani kujikinga na vitu gani ambavyo ni njia salama na kuna kipindi nimewahi kupost one of the way ambao mimi natumia gani kuna watu wakisema sio nzuri and yes ni kwenye research ambayo nimeifanya kwa hizo siku tatu seems yes it's not a good thing to do so i'm just going to mention some few ways ambao unaweza kutumia kwa ajili ya kucontrol au to control birth control yes to do a birth control kitu cha kwanza you have to abstain away from sex do not do sex kama unataka kuzaa ndugu yangu kwa nini nafanya mapenzi kwa nini nafanya mapenzi eh kwa nini so abstain from sex is one of the best best ways it's 100% way ya protect yourself from getting pregnant right hiyo ni moja wapi ya way and pia wanasema faida yake ni kwamba haina madhara you don't have to see a doctor you don't have to use your money you don't have to take your time you don't have to go through pain you see no faida ya kutumia abstain from sex ambao sara yake ni kwamba you say i mean uh, like uh, kipindi kirefu bila kufanya mapenzi you see kwa hiyo hiyo ndio hasara yake kubwa lakini kikubwa ni kwamba abstain from sex ina faida nyingi kuliko kufanya mapenzi kwa ku kwa kutotumia kinga labda na vitu kama hivyo. Njia ya pili mtu ambaye anaweza kutumia is to use condom, to use rubber, right? Kutumia rubber ni njia moja ambayo ni salama pia kwa ajili ya watu ambao they want to not get pregnant and all that. You see? Hiyo ni njia nzuri sana. Kikubwa ni kwamba wewe na partner wako ku agree that the only way ya wewe kutumia kwa sababu mapana wengine wao hataki na kuna wengine ambao wao wanachanaga kabisa yani mnafanya mapenzi na nani anaitoa you see kuna wengine wako mimi nakulaje pipi kwenye ganda sijui unakulaje ndizi kwenye ganda lake you see kwa hiyo it's uh, the only way ya kutumia rubber is for you and your partner to agree on it kama mkikubaliana then good for you guys kwa hiyo faida yake kwamba ni gharama tu mshinga pe what all that i think it's 1000 shilling over here so i don't know in another country how much are you selling it's depend i think it's depend with the quality and the uh which uh which uh, brand are you buying i think so for other than is think is it like a idea and then yeah whatever yes and uh kwa hiyo wewe unapata kumkubaliana you can use it faida yake kwamba ni rahisi and does not take I did not and it does not consume a lot of your time guys and uh sara yake labda kuna ambao wanasema kwa kutumua raba wanawashwa wengine ndio ile wanaisi inaweza kapasuka when they have a big eh yeah kwa hiyo kuna raba za kike na za kiume you can just pick between you and your partner another thing ambayo you and partner can use is withdraw this is another safe way for not getting that i mean for not getting pregnant lakini it's not 100% guaranteed kuna some of my friends kuna some of my friend ambaye amefanya withdraw and then the guy i mean the girl got pregnant you see kwa hiyo withdraw is not 100% uh 
kushauriwa kivile ila faida yake ni kwamba ni wewe and your partner to agree also ndo no faida yake lakini hasara yake kwamba haiko 100% kukubalika lakini hasara yake kubwa pia haikukingi wewe from getting magonjo kama STD I mean STDs STIs sexual transmitted diseases na sexual transmitted infections and all that as kuping akiazi kukingi wewe ku kupata ayo magonjwa. Kwa hiyo hiyo ndo hasara nyingine ya kutumia withdraw. Uh, another thing is fertility awareness. Fertility awareness is uh, pale msichana anapoweza kuhesabu au ku count their days. This is one of the way that I've been using for some time and it's helpful. Though hasara yake kwamba haikukingi na magonjwa ya zina yoyote yale. Yaani wewe kama you want to use fertility awareness to count your days or kuna wale ambao wanatumia calendar wana kuna different apps kwenye App Store and uh, App Store and uh, Play Store that you can use zika kusaidia in accounting your days so kwa wale ambao wanapenda kutumia hiyo it's just a matter of you go count your days unjue hapa ni ovulation hii hapa ni fertility uh, blah 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 and all that lakini haipukingi from getting STDs and STIs are we together girls out there guys yeah and another way ya fertility awareness ni, ni kitu simple sana is just an app unaweza kai download au mwenyewe ukawa na daftari yako ukawa unaandika wengine wanajua tu kwa sababu kwa kichwa mimi inanipaka shida mpaka tumie calendar for real for real lakini kwa wale ambao wana siku ambazo zinabadilika hiyo it's another problem of which you need to be very careful kwa sababu unaweza kuhesabu leo it's a safe day kwamba kuko it's a safe day kwako lakini kwa it's not safe lakini pia hasara yake kwamba fertility awareness kuna some people ambao wamewahi kutumia ambao na wajua wako wakaamini kwamba they are in a safe day kumbe they are not kwa hiyo yeye kwa na safe day upenda akafanya unprotected sex i mean unprotected sex and then they got pregnant you see the self siombo upate uende kwa danga alafu ufanye kitu kama hicho utajuta <laughs> okay let's go to another way another way it's uh uh let's go uh what birth control i mean birth birth control pills nala stop birth control pills of which ni pills ambazo unaweza kazitumia kwa ajili ya kujikinga ziko aina tofauti tofauti kuna zile ambazo wana wanataka pills gani zile acha na vitu kuna hizo nyingine za uzazi wa mpango ambazo people are using lakini mostly ambazo mimi have tried before ni vitu of which also anasema si nzuri sana kwa sababu zinaweza kusababisha ukapata ectopic pregnant unaweza uka ukapata STDs and STIs afia inaweza kukusababishia upate hormonal changes le hormone imbalances pia ukapata zile za china fungals and all that so the advice as not using it so much at least kwenye mzigo wako tumie mara moja tu au ina who ear tumie mara mbili twice or thrice in a year kwa sababu it's not advisable nishapata mfano kwa mtu ambaye amewahi ku comment on my instagram dia ama kanembe kabisa she will never ever use video kwa sababu ilifanya apate ectopic pregnant of which ikamletea shida sana kwa muda mrefu so when you using p2 just know that kuna side effect sio kwamba tu kuna positive effect peke yake so you just sit there and uh, think about it it is that we have from sex or use p2 but then it the shida <laughs> yes for me for me literally i have tried i used it so much i've used it yes I just say that nimetumia na nilikuwa natumia so sana hivi at least uh, once in my cycle in the menstrual cycle si sipendi kutumia zaidi hapo sipendi kutumia twice or thrice in the menstrual cycle and uh, pia wanasema kuna effect ya mtu kuja kushindwa kupata mimba katika ku, ku conceive ina goma kwa sababu ya kutumia kitu so girls out there be careful on those kitu msimeze kama karanga jamani Oh. Mimi na mifano kwa sababu kuna watu ambao washae kunitumia ga message on my Instagram effect za kutumia P2 and all that na zile Q&A with I'm Lily SL na kuona Instagram watu wanazosema effect za kutumia P2. So all in all just try to abstain from sex, use condom and all that. Rubber that thing. So another thing that you can use for the post sterilization so as you can see there are two fallopian tubes ambazo mwanamke anazo they cut it or they seal it or they block it so it's depend na wewe na daktari wako mmekubalianaje so you go to the hospital you check a doctor they uh, they give you his procedure zake ila the bad thing is you have to be to they have to do, to do a surgery on your body 
kwa ili iweze ku, ku seal or to cut or to block the two fallop, I mean fallopian tubes and pia hii sterilization inaweza kufanyika kwa wanaume kwa wanaume kwenye ile sehemu ambayo ina mbegu wanaifanya hivyo the same way as fallopian tubes are not as normal fine kwa hiyo it's a matter of you two people you and your partner to agree which way you want to use if you don't want to get pregnant darling <laughs> Another way you can use is uh, IUD. IUD on a sema it's a T-shaped device of which na kuwa ina pro progestin ambayo wana insect inside you that can help you prevent yourself from getting pregnant. Of which this you can use for three to five years. Uh, this one has protect you from getting STDs and STIs. No, they just protect you from getting pregnant. And uh, also. Uh, you need to go to the hospital to see a doctor. They tell you for the second answer, Azake. So it's you to go and pick which way you want to use. These are just some few ways that I I just got from the internet, and I said I should share with you guys. Kwaola mbolo kwa noliza, which ways can be used for birth control and these are the way that I've mentioned over here. So everything has advantage. I mean, it has, it has everything has pro and cons so we mwenye akili kumkichwa akili za kuambi wachanganya na za kwako kama alivyosema mheshimiwa wetu Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete alisema ga hivyo so this thing is i've got it so much akili za kuambi wachanganya na za kwako so you just pick uh, i mean uh, uh pick a right way for you to use of which you'll see zile advantage ni nyingi kuliko disadvantage and uh, kikubwa do not use a, do not do that as protected sex because darling kuna magonjwa mengi sana tell him to rub it how much does it cost huh? darling yeah thank you so much for watching this video let's meet another time it's so far very galili of all time ciao